Okay, the first thing we know is that there are one, two, three, four cars on a Thunderbolt train. And two people fit in every row. How many people fit in a train? Count by in a car, count by twos. Two, four, six. There are going to be six people in every single car of the train. So there's lots of ways to figure this out. We could count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We could count by twos to figure it out. There's Second grade, you will notice that those are four groups of six. So you know that you could do a multiplication problem. Four groups of six is four times six, which equals 24. 24 people can fit on the ride at the same time. In first grade, we have 28 friends. Will they all fit on the car at the same time? No, you're gonna have to take two rides. Second grade, we have 23 kids in our class. Will we all fit on one Thunderbolt train? Yes, and Miss Sarah, you'll fit on with them. Perfect, sounds good. We will have a good time riding the Thunderbolt. This is the Bernstein Bears ride the Thunderbolt. It's at an amusement park that is not Kennywood. There must be two roller coasters called the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt. Waiting in line, buying tickets, getting on, buckling up, going up, 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 clickety, clickety, clackety, click. Did you hear that onomatopoeia there? I did. Those are good words. They sound, sound words. They sound just like a roller coaster. At the top. Going down, down, down. Clackety, clackety, clickety, clack. Down and around, upside down. Into the dark. Into the light. Slowing down. Getting off. Again, again, do it again. Not so quick, not so quick. Your papa looks a little sick. Uh-oh, I think that was too much for him. But that was fun, that was fun. Going on again, minus one. <laughs> Papa couldn't do that again. Papa Bear can't do it again. So there's some more Thunderbolt math. You've had Thunderbolt math in here. You've had counting by twos. You've had a subtraction problem and a multiplication problem. Now let's get ready to ride the Thunderbolt. Oh, great. I can't wait. All right, guys, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh man, a hill right away. Oh, this is great. Oh, they're making us wait. Here we go. What's up, everybody?
hungry. I think I could go for some good Kennywood food. What do you think? I like treats at Kennywood. I bet the kids do too, don't you? Do you guys want to get some Kennywood food? Do you have some money with you? Let me see. Your dad gave you $10? And what? Oh, and your grandpa gave you $5. Okay, so that's a problem that we have to figure out. How much money do you have? $10. Plus five dollars equals fifteen dollars to spend. So let's find out what our choices are. Fifteen dollars to spend. Here we are at the snack pagoda. Let's stop for a snack. All right, let's check out that menu. Okay, looks like we have choices of. Pizza, corn dogs, lemonade, fries, and cotton candy. Those are great choices. Those are good choices. What do you think you want to eat? I think I'd like a piece of pizza right now. Pizza, that sounds good. So how much does pizza cost? Three dollars. All right, so we're going to have to add three dollars to... Hmm, what are you going to have? A corn dog. That's my favorite snack at Kennywood. Corn dogs cost $2. So I will add $2 to our $3. And we are going to spend $5 on snacks today. So if we had $15 to start, and we're spending $5, then how much do we have left? $10. $10 is the amount of money that we still have to spend on snacks today. Or games. Ooh. Mmm. Mm. That is a good corn dog. This is delicious pizza. We're going to have energy for more rides. All right. Are you guys ready to do some more riding? See you soon. Come on. I'm headed to the Sky Rocket. Is that it? Yeah, doesn't it look awesome? See, we are going to be all the way up there. All the way up there. And all these cool twists and turns. Is it fast? It's super fast. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. I'm pretty excited about going on this, but it's very, very high. Is it okay with you if we watch it one time before we get on? Because I heard that it starts out at like 50 miles an hour. It is a very fast start. It goes from zero miles per hour, which is just sitting still, to 50 miles per hour in three seconds. Plus you go upside down. You go upside down three times. Three times. But I want to watch it one time and then... Let's ride in the front seat, okay? We're gonna do it. Do you guys come in? All right. Come along. Yeah, 
think we're going to worry about that. Is a lot of lemonade. Well, if you spent four dollars on lemonade, then how much money do we have left? So we had ten dollars left minus four dollar lemonade, and I know that's a friend of ten. So if I know that six and four are friends of ten, then I know that ten minus four is six. So we still have six dollars to spend on other things we want to do today. How is the lemonade? This lemonade is so good. How did they make it? I don't know, but I asked them for the recipe and they gave it to me. Awesome. So do you mean that we could make that lemonade if we were like having Kennywood Day at home? We could. That sounds I awesome. think we should make sure that we share it with all the kids so they can make lemonade too. Absolutely. Great ideas. Do you guys want to have some lemonade too? Um, it's going to take me a while to drink this. Do you think we could go to the merry-go-round? That's my favorite ride. Absolutely. Great idea. Come on, everybody. Let me drink my lemonade before we get on the merry-go-round. Okay, sounds good. I heard that there was something kind of cool about this merry-go-round. Do, do you know what it was? Well, I know it's a historic landmark because it's so old. Do you hear all the music? Sounds great. That, there's an organ on there that is 104 years old and still making all that beautiful music. Wow. If you look at this merry-go-round, it has 64 horses on it, and they're all hand-carved. And then they call them benches chariots. They're supposed to pretend they're the chariot. That's way more fun than a bench. And you could also ride a lion or a tiger on there, too. Hmm. I think I'm going to ride on a horse that goes up and down. So am I. Maybe one that has some blue on it. That sounds great. You know, there's 1,400 lakes on it. Make sure that you get to ride it in the night, too. That is pretty cool. Let's listen to the music for one more minute. That is an awesome ride. I'm glad we're trying lemonade. Let's get in line. All right. Hey, 
where'd you get that? I used two more dollars to play a game, and I won this. You won? It's great. It's so soft and squishy. Give it a hug. Okay. What is it? Um, it's a unicorn squishmallow, I guess. But it looks amazing. So I had six dollars, and then I spent two more dollars. So how much money do I still have? Count backwards by twos. Four. I still have four dollars left. So maybe I could play another game later, or I could buy a souvenir. We'll see. Sounds wonderful. All right. All right, guys, next thing we're gonna do is go ride the Phantom's Revenge. That's gonna be wonderful. It's a great ride. But before we do that, I wanna read you The Roller Coaster Kid by Mary Ann Rodman. This story is not really about amusement parks. It's really about families and loving each other and missing people and being brave, but it happens at an amusement park. So that'll be a good break in our day. Let's kind of sit under a tree and read together. Sounds great. This is The Roller Coaster Kid by Mary Ann Rodman. You can see there's The Whipper. Here's our title page. Ride the Whipper, tickets. And this book was published in 2012. When Grandpa was my age, he rode a roller coaster 100 times in a row. The Roller Coaster Kid. My father's company picnic was at Oceanside Park, Grandpa tells me, and he shows me an old newspaper clipping. All us kids got as many free tickets as we wanted, and I wanted a hundred. The roller coaster kid, says the newspaper headline over a picture of Grandpa, eight years old. He's standing in front of the big coaster, the whipper. Except for his clothes, he looks just like me. We are just alike. Except for one thing, I don't like coasters. All that dipping and zipping and flipping makes me throw up. Not Grandpa. Every summer we visit Grandma and Grandpa in Oceanside. We jump in the waves and find shells. We feed the gulls and fly kites. And we go to Oceanside Park. Grandpa and I wait in line for the whipper. This time I won't be afraid. This time I'll be the roller coaster kid. Then I change my mind. You don't know what you're missing, Zach, Grandpa says. Mm, next time, Grandpa, I say. But next time it happens again. Never you mind, Grandma said. Let's ride the big wheel. Grandma and I like the same things, seagulls and seashells and strawberry ice cream. But most of all, we love the big wheel. Easy and quiet, we sail up to the sky, way up high with gulls all around. I'm not scared. I am braver than brave. Down below, the whipper looks as safe as a tiny toy train. Next time we come, I'll ride the whipper, I say. When the time is right, you'll face your fear, Grandma says. But that time never comes. I'll never be the roller coaster kid. Next summer comes, but everything's different. Grandma's gone forever. We jump in the waves and gather shells. We fly kites and feed gulls, all our usual things. But without Grandma, it's just not the same. Grandpa sits on the bench and feeds the gulls. He fixes our kite tails and carries the shell pails. But he's not like the old grandpa, not at all. He misses grandma and I miss her too. We know, say my parents. But don't say that to grandpa. Talking about grandma will just make him sadder. Let's go to the park, I say. That'll cheer grandpa up. No, say my parents. He needs peace and quiet. The whipper. I think that's what he needs. Then one day we're alone, Grandpa and I. Grandpa, I say, can we go to the park? He shakes his head no. We'll ride the whipper, I say really fast. This time I'll, I'll ride it, I really will. Grandpa smiles, not like he used to, but a smile all the same. All the way to the park, my stomach hurts. I'm facing my fear, but I sure don't feel brave. There's a super long line in front of the whipper. Let's come back later, I say. Like never, I think. Nonsense, says Grandpa. We'll wait. We stand and wait for our turn. Before I know it, we're getting on. Hop in, says Grandpa. Clank. The seat bar slams down. Trapped on the whipper, I can't escape. I close my eyes super tight. Clickety-tick, 
clickety tick, the coaster climbs slowly, so slowly, clickety, 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 higher and higher. For half a second, we hang at the top, then whoosh, my scream flies away and my stomach does too. Hey, this isn't so awful. It's almost fun, but there's more. Clickety tick, clickety tick, up the next hill. Clickety, 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 then whoosh, we fly around curves. We fly upside down, faster and faster, down, up, around, over, clickety whoosh, clickety whoosh. I keep my eyes shut. Then it's over. Hey, Grandpa, I tug at his arm. I rode the whipper. Yes, Zach, you did, says Grandpa. So I'm the roller coaster kid? I wait for the big Grandpa smile. I guess, says Grandpa. He doesn't smile. Well, let's go home. My plan didn't work. I didn't help Grandpa at all. We head for the exit. I walk slower and slower and get madder and madder. Didn't he know how scared I was? Why didn't he say, you were really brave, Zach? I miss Grandma. Grandpa stops, and I know that I've said that out loud. What did you say, Zach? Oh, no, I've made him feel worse. I want to say nothing, but that's not the truth. I miss Grandma, I say. So do I, he says. If Grandma were here, she would say I was brave, I tell him, for riding the whipper, for facing my fears. She would at that. Grandpa smiles his old smile. He's not mad or sad, so I keep talking. She says, life's not so scary when you face your worst fear. Grandpa looks at me for a minute, then says, your grandma was right. You are one brave boy, Zach. We smile at each other. We're like Grandpa and I. How about some strawberry ice cream? Asks Grandpa. Okay, I say. But let's ride the whipper one more time. And this time, I keep my eyes open. What a great book. All right, should we go ride a roller coaster? Yes, are you going to keep your eyes open? I am going to keep my eyes open. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Here it's starting. Keep your eyes open. Okay. I, I'm gonna put my hands up, but there's always one part I put my hands down. Here we go. Look how high we're going. Up into the sky. So excited to give us a go. Oh boy. Here we are in the front row. Yep. All the Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood on this beautiful day. Still going up. Okay. It's a really high hill, that's why. Okay, kids, are you ready back there? This is gonna be awesome. Is everybody feeling brave? Mm. Almost there, I'm gonna hang at the top for just a second before we go. We're gonna get that tummy feeling if mm. that happens. Take a look around, here we are. You can see all the way to the cars. Here we go, hands up! Here we go. Ah! Whoa, back up, back up! Where's the ball? We're going too fast! Keep those eyes open. Here we go! Red Lander, the Thunderbolt! Yay! Okay, that's okay. We were under the Thunderbolt. That was amazing! Sorry, <laughs> still going, still going! Oh, under the we're fast. Again. Okay! <laughs> Uh, oh boy! Oh. So cool. Okay. Oh, oh, this is so fast. This one's not clickety. No. Woo. That was an awesome ride. I'm so glad we did that. That was super fun. Great job, everybody. I hear the music. Time to head for the exit. Time to go home. What a great day. Come on, it's time to go home. That was a great oh, day. I am so tired. I'm glad I won this big soft prize so I can use it as a pillow to sleep the whole way home. 
Oh, I'm glad we saw all the first and second graders today. That was a wonderful day. This was a really good day. See you later, guys. Bye, guys. We're going home.